السلام علیکم ٹو دے دا ٹاپک از ہافیو ریکٹیفائرز واٹ از ریکٹیفائر اف وی گیو ڈائڈ ٹو اے سی وولٹیج اٹ کنورٹ ان ٹو دا ڈی سی وولٹیج دس از کار ریکٹیفائرز وائی دا ریکٹیفائر یوز ان موسٹلی ڈی سی پاور سپلائیز سچ ایز کمپیوٹر اور الیکٹرانکس اور موبائل لائک ڈیٹ and uh, what is the basic power supply most commonly in power supply is become like that now there is a ac power supply i gave it 120 volt this is for another book so this is the 120 volt in pakistan there is 220 volt transformer we use the transformer to step down or step up if we need it we step down it and convert it to or down to the voltage so we use the transformer then we use the rectifiers it convert into in this form because we use half wave rectifiers so it loses the negative part and give only positive therefore this is half wave rectifier as he mentioned it and then we use the filter circuit we what filter circuit do it convert it in this form wave form and then we use the regulator and we get the pure dc and we use as a load we discuss all these thing one by one we discuss all these things okay next it mention it in half wave rectifiers this will be happening so first he used the, the half wave rectifier what is and how to operate it we give ac voltage like uh, it short and a diode which convert this voltage into this arm or this wave form and convert it into this wave form as the positive cycle how it work first uh, you come to know v in is the voltage that we give uh, to the diode first cycle from t0 to t1 the diode is positive because upper side is positive and lower side is negative so the diode is forward bias and it conduct the current and would get the load across the rl low resistance when the negative half cycle the polarity change positive cycle becomes negative and negative cycle become positive so the diode is do not conduct the current so we get no current here next he mention it when the negative cycle the current will be zero so we do not get so t1 and t2 is no current while t0 to t1 is complete waveform and then we get the output voltage like that one cycle will be dropped one by one as voltage applied the cycle will be dropped one by one next and this is the pulsating dc voltage not pure volt dc so what is the average value of this dc we get it from it there this formula and the question mention it it is about 31.8 percent because half cycle will be dropped it mention it like that the complete cycle is 2 pi so 
half of the 2 pi cycle is pi will be dropped and we get the average while well, this is the peak value of voltage but in average if we convert it into the pure DC form then we get this value of the DCs this is a numerical you can read it if you have any problem discuss with me in comments now the effect of barrier potential on the half wave rectifiers output the diode has always barrier potential which is equal to 0 0.7 volt as we know i discussed it in previous lecture about diode so when we give the output v1 will give v in the peak value of input voltage the output voltage is always less than 0 0.7 so is negative subtracting from vp in which i give to it because the bare potential value is 0 0.7 volt and it must be subtract from the p in input voltage a peak voltage of input and we get the result of a peak voltage of output and then it give again an example all this is in this topic mention it peak inverse voltage what is peak inverse this is the peak inverse voltage when we give the voltage in negative form there is always a inverse voltage which is called the peak inverse voltage transformer transformer complete one by one it can explain everything which uh, we discuss in basic powers in this power supply now transformer consists of this shaded area when we give to the ac voltage to the transformer there is a primary coil number of coil n for number of primary coil v primary primary voltage secondary number of secondary coil and secondary voltage so we get the ratio from this formula v secondary is equal to n v primary if v n is less than one this is mention it the secondary voltage is always less than the primary voltage and if greater than the greater one and it uh, also tells us if the secondary voltage is less than primary voltage it is step up no step down sorry and if uh, it is uh, greater than one then it is step up transformer and if uh, n is equal to 1 then secondary voltage is equal to primary voltage and in this equation we get uh, vp out the is equal to vp secondary minus 0 0.7 because we get the secondary voltage like that V secondary passes through this diode and we mm, from there so we must be minus 0 0.7 volt from this and get it at low resistance because this is 0 0.7 is the potential barrier voltage 
so we go down and we get a VP out like that peak inverse voltage on the other side is completely equal which is V primary in V secondary in peak inverse voltage equal to the V secondary without no change because the current is not passed but we can the peak inverse voltage is also here so there is also a problem related to the this topic and we move on now this is a full wave rectification or rectifiers because we use this due to we drop the half cycle now we convert and we use also these half cycles and get a complete pulsative DC without any gap and its value its average value is 2 VP divided by pi because it was doubled so the proximation of uh, output voltage is approximately 63.7% which is also doubled for this we use the center tab rectifier operations what happened this is we use the transformer which is step down there is a V in a AC V in and step down transformer what happened center tap means there is a three point of this transformer this is the center point which at one time is positive other time is negative let's see it this is the positive cycle so the positive cycle means upper side is positive down is negative and on the other hand this is positive and this is negative so diode d1 is conducted and run pass through the d1 through the and get across the low resistance oil and we get output like that on the other hand d2 is reverse bias d1 is forward bias D2 is reverse bias so it do not con conduct the current when negative half cycle D1 is reverse bias and D2 is forward bias and we get output again which is which shows that in shaded area effect of turn off ratio on the output volt when primary voltage is applied to the transformer the center tap transformer divided this voltage into two form or half half cycle above half cycle down this half cycle can pass through the one time d1 and second time d2 when it passes through the d1 it give output voltage which are already half as show it and we also minus from potential value 0 0.7 and we get this output voltage in this form next VP secondary is equal to VP I for this we use step up transformer for getting half the center tap half transformer in a step up form then we get vp primary in complete form like that and we get the output voltage across the secondary voltage is VP secondary divided by 2 is equal to minus 0.7 why this will be happening because the if we see 
the primary voltage which is equal to the secondary voltage divided by 2 because there it mentioned it we use step up so n is equal to 2 which is greater than to the primary voltage or v primary to v primary is equal to v secondary so v primary is equal to v secondary divided by 2 so v output is always show this form there is a peak inverse voltage there when we apply v primary and we get v secondary peak inverse voltage is one time d1 is forward bias on the other time d1 is reverse bias or vice versa when d1 is forward bias its peak inverse voltage is v primary divided by 2 on the other hand v secondary sorry v secondary divided by 2 and on the other hand we get minus v secondary divided by 2 because d2 is reverse bias on the same time and divided by 2 tells us the transformer is divided this primary voltage into half so when it pass it's become in this form let's see peak inverse voltage is equal to v primary in vp in secondary coil divided by 2 minus 0 0.7 as shown it like that while it is negative form so we minus it into the and we get it minus vp secondary divided by 2 because it is reverse bias and its polarity also different from this when minus and minus become positive and we get it complete half and half complete we show it vp secondary is equal to 0 0.7 this one since we know that in the previous that this equation 2.7 vp v secondary divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.7 so the peak inverse voltage when we multiply by 2 we get vp secondary is equal to 2 vp out plus 1.4 v vp out means we get the output and this is the our peak inverse voltage when this value put in this equation we get this answer okay this is also numerical related to the our above topic now we use bridge rectifier operation what happened in bridge rectifier we use four diodes d1 d2 d3 d4 in this form and one time two diode conducted and on the other hand the at the same time at the same time two diode conducting on the other hand two diode in reverse bias like that when we apply the voltage to the transformer and transformer step down it and this will be happen we do not use center tab we use simple transformer the current we discuss it from in this form the current is passed through positive terminal and pass through the and reach to the this point and pass to the reach to the this point and pass to the d1 and d1 is forward bias so it can go out v out and go to the low resistance or grounded 
and there we get the ground current and we pass to D2 as a forward bias and go back to the electric terminal of the transformer therefore D1 and D2 conducted and we get output in this form when the half circle negative half circle D3 and D4 is conducted the same situation the polarity change plus minus change the current passes through the D4 which is forward bias and go to the ground there it can come from the ground and pass through D3 there and come back to the negative terminal of the transformer and we get this output now we discuss about uh, bridge output uh, voltage there we discuss uh, the operation how it work the peak output voltage always dropped by 1.4 because there is uh, two diode connecting in a forward bias one diode has 0.7 potential barrier voltage so we add it and minus it from the VP secondary voltage of transformer and we get VP output voltage we show it there plus and plus 0.7 and 0.7 which can add it, it and we can mi we minus it from VP secondary volt voltage or V secondary voltage and we get the output voltage in this form which is always less than in 1.4 volt ok now the peak inverse voltage in peak inverse voltage one time two diode is in peak inverse voltage give the peak inverse voltage in ideally it will be in this form peak inverse voltage is VP out why we know that in previous uh, center tab when we use the center tab transformer we get it the value which is no change as usual so this is also re related to the above topic this maker is also related next is power supply filter and regulator there we complete the rectification we come to know everything about rectification if you have any problem you can comment me or discuss anything about rectifications thank you